A quick video here to highlight the differences between construction lines and center lines during sketching. Thank you to Larry Budd for inspiring this video. Strictly speaking, there is no requirement for you to use these two types of lines during sketching, but they do offer some advantages if you use them correctly. Let's start with construction lines. We can turn a solid sketch line into a construction line by right clicking on it and choosing construction or by using the shortcut key X. We can also use the sketch palette. A very common reason for converting a solid line into a construction line is when we need to reference that line, but at the same time, we do not want it to interfere with the creation of a closed profile. Let's turn this line back to normal for the purposes of this example. I'm going to draw a circle here to serve as a profile for extrusion. And I want to dimension its center with respect to this line. The position and size of the circle causes the line to cut through the profile. If we hover over the circle, we can see that the profile has been split into two across the line. We will still be able to extrude this with no problem, but it is good practice to keep your profiles whole. We can do this by changing the line to construction. Once we do that and hover over the circle, we can see that this is now a single profile. Take note that if we change this line to a center line, this does not work. Any sketch entity can be changed to construction, including projected lines. Some sketch entities come pre-built with construction lines, for example a center rectangle. By pressing X, we can toggle between solid and construction lines. When it comes to choosing a path for making sweeps, the path selection would automatically ignore construction lines, even with the chain selection option checked. You will only select the whole chain if all the entities along the chain are solid. Let's talk about center lines next. To change this to a center line, we can right click or use the sketch palette. Center lines have two main uses. One is to serve as a mirror line. Suppose that we draw a few lines here that hug one side of the center line. Let's begin the mirror command. Upon triggering the mirror command, the program detects the center line and automatically selects it as a mirror line. From here, you just need to select the entities that you want to mirror. Take note that a construction line does not exhibit the same automatic behavior. One drawback of using a center line in this situation is that the center line splits this into two profiles. After mirroring, Perhaps you might want to turn this back into a construction line so that you have a single whole profile. The second use of the center line is to serve as an axis for revolves. In this case, I will draw a profile on one side of this center line. I do not need to close this profile as the center line actually does that. If we exit the sketch and begin the revolve command, you can see that the program detects the center line and automatically selects it as the axis. Again, take note that a construction line does not exhibit the same automatic behavior. <laughs> 